is Brady Gibbs, what is it, boy, or Revolution Gaming, as you know me, sorry for that weird intro, I think I actually kind of paused there, I don't know what was going on, but anyway guys, we're back, and this is like, before the same area we were in before, this is the Poke Cubes mod, of course, which is basically another Minecraft pixel mod mod. It's very cool, very cool, I really like the mod. If you guys haven't seen the original video, definitely go um, check it out. A link will be in the description, and it should actually pop up on my channel. as being one of the first videos actually there, so definitely go look at it, but a link will be in the description for the first video. I actually go over all the legendaries that are currently in this game, well, in this mod, at this time, and, uh, sorry for that, guys. Uh, now, this episode, we'll be doing something a bit different, and we'll actually be looking at... All the Mega Evolutions that are in this game. Yes, you guys heard correctly. Mega Evolution is in this game. Or in this mod. So, it's really different from Pixel. We already have Mega Ring. We got, um... There is, um, also, um... What do you call it? Um... I cannot remember, but from Omega Ruby, I have a Sapphire. Primal Conversion, that's what it is. So, you can have Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. And these are a bunch of Mega Evolutions. So if you guys want to know what the Pokemon uh, is, definitely go check out the first video, but, um, yeah, so we're gonna just jump right on into it, um, with this one. So, um, this chest is safe. This chest is, chest is safe. I actually don't know if I'll do this, so I'll actually try to see if I think this video is too short, but I doubt it, so. Um, yeah. There are actually, I think, no legendary... Nope. Okay. I didn't check this, I probably should have. I was gonna put them in there. Uh, I need to take out Latios and Latios, because they actually have their thing on them, so does Groudon and Kyogre. Currently, um, Rayquaza here, he, his Mega Evolution isn't in the game, I don't understand why, but, you know, couldn't take a while, so I can't say, like, uh, like, I can't really speak for the dev, the dev if anything went down or whatever, if he just can't. Um, he does, doesn't have that out yet, or not. It's all him right now. But, um, yeah, ba basically all I need to do is grab, uh, Latios, Latios, and Groudon and Kyogre. So, Latios and Latios work kind of simply. Okay, so, if you actually right-click them with the Mega Stone, that's actually right here. It'll actually say, like, they have Gardevoir, Gilgite Knight, so... There's certain ones. This is a Latios site. I'm pretty sure. So you have to get in that. And the way you get this is actually from villages. Now, a village was somewhere around here. It wasn't too far. I'm going to show you guys at the end of the video. But if you find a village, there'll be a blue market. What you actually have to do in there is you actually right-click on the guy that's in the market. And he'll actually trade you Mega Stones. And he'll also give you Pokeballs for Emeralds. Now... That makes it very easy to keep going on and do stuff, as you guys can see. I already have that. You could also, um, ride Latios. That's... I don't have a saddle on this, but, uh, you can ride it. Actually, you know, let me grab a saddle real quick. Just so I can show you guys. Um, it's pretty cool. Pretty, uh... Pretty cool. Alright. Not what I to do. There's a lot of slimes that are appearing, um, it's just because I'm in a flat world, I can't really change that because if I put on Peaceful, uh, the, uh, Pokecube will actually be on the table, but, yeah, guys, um, we're on Latios. Now, after you get the, um, after you get the, uh, actual, like, uh, okay, it makes my game lag a bit, okay, so I'm gonna just hop off that, um, return for a minute, or just chill there, you know, that's cool too. Return, okay, um, so after you get the, um, mega actual stone, you actually need the mega wing. Now, to make the me- not what I meant, what I was typing here. Now, the mega ring, you'll have to do this. To make the mega belt, you'll have to do this, and you'll have to make the mega hat. Now, the mega hat and the mega belt, I don't believe in actually mega ball Pokemon, only the mega ring does, but it's actually a lot easier to make than these two, so I don't understand why you'd want to, but, hey. Eh. This is the, um, crafting recipe for it. That's what I have the crafting recipes all up for. Uh, all of this stuff. Um, there. So that's actually how you make it. So you'll need that. And after you have that, just put the, um, Mega Stone on whatever Pokemon you want. Right click them with the Mega Stone. Then hit the M key on your keyboard and... 
Sometimes it has a little bit of delay. Dude, what? I have a mega stone. I have a mega key, right? There's no way my game is lagging that much, unless that's a lot of use. Like, uh, yeah. Okay, Latios doesn't seem to want to do it, but she's not any different from Latios, so we're gonna hopefully see that Latios. Yeah, okay, okay. So there's Mega Latios, who I actually already have a saddle for. What? Oh god. Okay. So, um, yeah. This is a Mega Evolution, guys. So, we have Mega Latios, uh, Mega Latios here. Very cool Mega. I don't like his model that much. Like, it, it could be improved on a lot. You can definitely see that happening. Um, but yeah. Mega Latios. Uh, still a really, really, really cool Pokemon. I really like it. Um, okay, so... Then we're actually going to move on to the Primal Conversions. That's just to give you a hint of what Mega Evolution's like in this game. One of these two? Oh, okay. Those are two of those. Sorry about that. scan message. As well. So... Um... Here's Groudon. Legendary, like I showed you guys in the last video. Now, he actually has this. Which you could also get this for emeralds from the same shop. So this is still counts as Mega Evolution. Okay. You hit the same... I'm um, sorry about that, guys. Um, I don't know why. My screen stop for a minute. Um, you guys didn't see that. You guys just keep saying down to game, but okay. But um, here's Groudon. So you hit M after you get um. Wait, what, what is it called? After you get the Om Omega Orb, you hit M and bam, Primal Groudon, guys. Primal Groudon in the game. You can ride on him. He is a bit laggy for me. Like flying on a few of them. Like fly flying on Mega Latios. Spawn flying on regular Latio, so a bit laggy for me. But, um, he, he's not. He's not. He's pretty good. You can ride on him. You know, look cool. He's really good control. I really like his controls. Uh, walk over buildings. <laughs> it's freaking crazy. But, um, yeah. Very excellent sprite. Very well done. Again, my props to the uh, devs. Most I'll leave a link to the Discord in the description. And, yeah, it's really, really cool. I really like it. So, um,. After that, we have Kyogre, of course. Groudon C. Now, this guy's a really big beast. I really like him. Really cool. You could also get the Sapphire Orb right there. And then you hit. Um, that's doing that. Um. Yeah, okay. So, um. Primal Kyogre. Um. Very, very interesting and very cool at the same time. He's extremely huge. You can ride him, but you actually can't see inside of him. And when you um, go into F5, you kind of are just there. He moves okay on land. I, I don't understand why you want to ride him on land. But I got some water over here just for this occasion. Um, He's pretty slow in water, which doesn't make any sense. I don't know if it's just this. But if I actually un-mega evolve him, he'll just, he'll fly. He'll fly in water. He'll be going at speeds faster than the freaking light. But in primal form, he's just really slow in water. I don't understand why he's even faster on land, but oh well. So that's basically primal Kyogre and Groudon um, over here. Sorry, I keep going to F5 so much. I just, I, don't, I just love riding these things. Um, okay, so that's Basically, the primal conversions. Now, let's take these get on the mega evolutions. Um, starting off with Mewtwo, of course. We'll be starting off with both the Mewtwo's. Um, we'll get out Absol and um, Aerodactyl. They're pretty cool too. So I'll just be showing you guys their uh, models. I won't be showing you anything else, really. I won't show you the models. Really. But um. Here's regular Mewtwo, um, I think this is Mewtwo Y, yeah, okay, so this is Mewtwo Y, so here's the regular Mewtwo, and then BAM, Mega Evolve, and then you get that Mewtwo Y, actually, can you sit? Oh, yes, you can, you can. Definitely, definitely. Um, so, yeah, very, very, very cool model, um, really appreciate his model, it's a really good model, I like it. Really cool Mega Mewtwo Y. So, here's Mewtwo. Now, this should be Mega Mewtwo X. So, hit the M key and... Hit the M key. 
I'm just returning for a minute, cause it's glitching out. Oh wait, is he not on this? Wait, do you have to act actually? I think they have to be standing up. Um, yeah, okay. So they do have to be standing up. Okay. So okay. So here's Mega Mewtwo um X. Very very cool model. I mean, it doesn't change much. It just gives this here a little bit more extra plating here, and then these two side things, and give bigger eyes. But still, Mega Mewtwo X. Pretty good. Pretty good. Really enjoy them. Um, it's bright, it's really cool. Um, okay, next up we have Absol. Because it's pretty bleak. Um, so we have Absol here, you know. Looks pretty baller. Pretty, actually, no, I can't make you sit. God. Um, but, um, you know, we got Absol, so he's pretty baller, pretty baller. But if I hit M, bam, you get the little wings. It, it's not a huge mega evolution, it just gives him a bang and, like, I think, like, two horns up there, but. That's about it. It's pretty plain and basic. Oh my god, the thing is gonna get freaking thing. Mega Absol, go kill that freaking slime. Yeah, Absol over there. Mess him up, Absol. Yeah. Alright, now while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys Aerodactyl. So here's Aerodactyl. Um, you couldn't get him out of a fossil and um do that. So if I hit an M. His model is just huge, like... It's really, really cool, too. I, I really, really, really like his model. It's really, really good. So, it's really, really cool model. And, um, very, very, very powerful Pokemon. Indeed. No, absolutely, you did good. You effed up that slime. Thank you. Thank you both. Um... I was gonna just put them... Uh... In the PC, but I think I'll just put them probably back in here. Just because it seems best. Sorry if I'm really slow about this, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm uh, doing this um, pretty late, so... It's not super late, but it's just kind of fast. I'm a bit tired. Um, but, um... Here's Alakazam. Um, a lot of these were actually really already in the game. I'm um, really of him already, but bam! You got that now. So he has a beard and the spoons of death. Which is freaking awesome. I really love his mega. It's really, really good. Um, we have Altera, who probably has the worst mega out of everyone. The Pokemon here doesn't look terrible. It looks okay. But then, Mega Evolve, and... It's just, what you, you just gave it a bigger butt, bigger wings, and like, wool hair, I guess? I, I hate it. I, I don't like this at all. Like, Mega Tilly by itself, really cool Pokemon, but just, that's, this is just no. This is just no. We have Oregon here, um, could you sit? Could you sit? Thank you. Um, so we have Oregon over here, um, he's, uh, pretty tanky, pretty good Pokemon as it is, but then you Mega Evolve him, and it's not bad. It really does look like the Mega that he has, it's just a lot's going on in the feeder, a bit bad to me. But, and it's very clunky, but it's, it's still really good Mega. It looks really cool to me. I really like it. Uh, probably has to be on my top 10, definitely, of this modded list. And, yeah, it's Mega Aeron, Mega Alexander, Mega Artillery. So, yeah. Just then. Oh, wait, I have Amphrost, though. I didn't actually realize that. So we'll do Amphrost next. Bayonet. Um, got the homie Blastoise. And Beedro, of course. Um, I'll actually put these up because I don't need these. And we'll grab Charizard. Well, if I do that, okay. We'll grab the two Charizards. Okay. So I guess we'll start off with Amphrost. Because I didn't show them off last time. Really cool sprite as it is. Really, really, really like it. And then, bam, get that Mega. Of course, you get the hair. You all know you guys get the hair. Love the tail, everything else. It's pretty weak. I mean, it, it only changes like two things, but that's actually how his Mega really is, so I can't really hate on it. But still, a Mega and Frost. That looks really, really cool. So, um. Next up, we'll be switching out to Blast Doors behind me. Um, I have a actual saddle on mine, so you can actually ride him on land. Uh. Pretty cool, pretty, he's pretty fast on land, and water, he's freaking torpedo. Um, I can show you guys real quick, I guess. Um, so on land, you guys could just walk around if you guys need, like, a horse or anything. Water, though, he's gone. He, 
He gone. He gone. Just like boom, he gone, guys. Like ever get in the ocean, you need a Pokemon to surf on, or you don't feel like getting a boat, bang, you just pop out your blast toys. You, you can reach places in like, like like five minutes. Like let's go on land. Pretty good speed too. He's not the worst, but he's not the best. So definitely high up on those riding lists. But now, um, I'm gonna just hop off him because when you ride on him, when he's in Mega Form, looks stupid. Um, and bam, he got the all the the um cannons and stuff. Definitely has to be my second best or second favorite Mega out of all these. Best, um, it's the best. It's the, well, second best Mega to me. I really, really think it looks amazing. It's just really, really cool. And I really love it. It looks exactly like it did in the game, so that's another one. Uh, next up, we have Bayonet. Uh, creepy Pokemon. I never used him on my team ever. I know a few people did, so when his Mega was actually announced or was actually released, I didn't really care that much for it, but here it is. Um, looks just like the game. Pretty good model. I can't, I can't say it's terrible because it really is good. I really like it. And it's pretty chill. It's a really, 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 really cool chill thing. So before we get on the charge arc, we want to get out the Beedrill, homie. You guys already know what it is. So we got Beedrill right here, and then BAM! When I was so hyped for this Mega when it first came out. Like, when they first announced it for Omega Ruby out of Sapphire, they're making a Mega Beedrill. Oh my god, dude, I'm pretty sure everyone was hyped. It's just freaking awesome. But not a lot of people used him. Because I feel like they tried to bring out Beedrill, adding him a Mega, but not a lot of people used him. But this has to be definitely like fourth best mega. You stop sticking your butt in my face. Um, so, but definitely fourth best mega. I really like it. Uh, the model is amazing. Now, here's Charizard. Um, here's Charizard Y. You guys can tell by the uh, color of the mega stone or whatever. He just took off. And, um, that's Charizard regularly, and then BAM, you know, okay, here's Charizard Y, I definitely love Charizard Y the most, I hate Charizard X, I think he looks really stupid, and I think Charizard Y was the Mega Evolution that was supposed to be intended for Charizard. So, Mega Charizard Y is my favorite out of the Charizards, but hey, a lot of people really do like Mega Charizard X. So, we have that too. So, um, Mega Charizard Y. Really cool, really cool Pokemon. So now, we have Mega Charizard X. Now I'm gonna make you sit. Very, very cool. I really love his model on this. Definitely on the top 10 list. Probably number 6, probably. Very, very cool. I love the flame animations. There's, that's freaking awesome. You got the wings. Just the animation for this is just awesome. Ampros is starting, of course. You are. I don't have any food on me. Impro seat, yeah, just return. Okay, I don't need you to keep starving. So, um, yeah, those are those Megas. Um, you actually have to, like, look in the direction of the Pokemon for them to actually return, so it's going Um, put Beedrill, put the Charizards back, Blastoise, okay. Harold Blaziken, and then we got Camerupt, uh, Gallade, Gardevoir, Garchomp, and Gengar. I'm gonna make these quicker probably than I did last time. Um, Gardevoir, um, literally just gives her a bigger skirt. It's better than what it used to be, but a lot, by a lot, I really like the newer model. Very, very cool. Um, Camerupt. Definitely has to be on the top 10 list yet again, probably number 8. Amazing, and Numa was actually really easy to catch early on in the game, so getting this Mega is really, really, really easy. So I really like that too. Um, Gallade, bam, Mega. Basically just makes them all white and uh, gives them extra little blades. I don't really like him that much, I mean, I really love Mega Gallade, but in this mod it's not the best. But still pretty cool. Nonetheless. We have Blaziken, who's, um, model's okay. I really like his running animation stuff, it's really cool. Then yeah, Mega Blaziken, really fits, really fits, really, really does. Um, but definitely, um, it's a good one, but not on my top 10 favorite. Um, Garchomp, I think they absolutely butchered his model, it looks so stupid to me. I mean, it looks like Garchomp, it just looks like a derpy version of Garchomp, I, I, I don't know. Mega Evolved, though, 
beast. I mean, it doesn't look the best with the hands. I kind of wish the blades went out farther, but it's still very, very, very cool Mega. And um, definitely worth it, even though in the game, like, Mega Garchomp's are actually worse than regular Garchomp, so I can't say much about it. Then we got the homie Gengar, which, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really like his sprite in the game, but once you Mega Evolve him, man, does he turn into a freaking tank. Like, golly, that looks really sick. Definitely top 10. Probably number 9. Definitely. Definitely. Snow 9. Definitely Snow 9. So, um, all of you guys could just return. Um, you're done showing off for the video. Get back in there. Put it back in there. Okay. Okay, so next up we got Glalie. We got the homie Gyarados, we got Heracross, you know, I love me some Heracross, we got Houndoom, um, we got Kankscone, and we got Mawa. So let's go ahead and start off with them. Um, we got Kankscone, he's gonna Mega Evolve. <sighs> this Mega Evolution is just so disappointing, I kinda really wish, like, literally, your son is just changing place, that's it, it's just you moving your son back. It's just like, okay, now my son's like in his freaking teenage years. And like, when does he ever grow the fuck up? Apparently, Mega Evolution is impermanent, so I, I don't know. But yeah, with Kangaskhan, I've never really liked Kangaskhan's Mega. I kind of feel like it should have been more of an evolution and a Mega. Here's Glalie. Um, I really like him and his Mega. It's freaking cool. I really love the animation and the sprite for his Mega. Definitely top ten. Definitely holds number like five or yeah, five. Probably five on my list. Definitely really cool. We got the homie Gyarados. Uh, I have a saddle on this guy. Gonna Mega Evolve him. He just gets bigger. Grows some wings. Um, that, that, that's about it. Just gets bigger and grows wings, basically. I'm trying to right click him. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, he, he isn't really going anywhere, but you know. We got Mega Gyarados in here. Um, let's go out handy. Really small. I mean, his sprite is, is okay, but bam, that Mega Evolution, though. Yeah. Hit him like. Freaking puberty is like a truck. Just freaking, he's gone. So, he looks really, really sick. Really love his Mega. And then you got uh, Heracross here. I think he looks derpy and I love his design. It's just so cool in this game. And then Mega Evol Evolution, definitely not on my top 10. I don't like Mega Heracross. I never have liked Mega Heracross. But. I mean, he's here, so if you guys like Mega Heracross, that's a thing. And then Mawile. Um, his Mega Evolution, pretty cool. Just looks kind of like he's crazy, though. Mm, probably not in my top 10, but still pretty pretty cool Mega. So, those are those Megas. Good turn. Okay. Oh, sorry if you guys hear that. Um, can't change that, though. But, uh, we got the homie Lucario, which I love Lucario, you guys already know Rio is my favorite Pokemon. Um, definitely a huge freaking Lucario fan, I've almost always had a Lucario on my team whenever I have the chance to get one. It's just an amazing Pokemon, has really, really good stats. So we're gonna be looking at a few more of these. Um, I got my Netric here, definitely not a fan of it. Just golly, it's not even the model that makes it bad, it's just like, I hate Manetrix Mega, it just looks so stupid, I don't understand why Nintendo even decided that would look decent. Um, anyway, here we come out, Lucario. Definitely has one of my favorite freaking sprites or whatever in the game, models. The favorite model in the game has to be. Mega Evolve though... I'm gonna be honest, it does look like Mega Lucario. I won't say it doesn't look like Mega Lucario, because it does. I just kind of wish they did something with the arms. And maybe the, the tail would be different. Like, Mega Lucario, I don't feel like it's terrible. I feel like it definitely is a high rated and really, really good Mega. It's just the design of it's kind of bad. It's like bad, but it's not terrible. Um, next up, we have the homie Pidgeot. Um, Definitely uh, just a regular fine to get rolling on, and then BAM! You got, you know, that. What I feel like what happened with Mega Pidgeot was like, they saw Star Raptor, and then they tried to get like a Naruto feel with it, and then they got they got Mega Pidgeot. The really cool Mega, definitely in the top 10, probably has to be holding a number. 
Probably 10. Probably definitely 10. Right there. Definitely love Mega Pidgeot. It's really cool. Now we have Salamence. Now, Salamence was an overhyped Mega, I have to say. His Mega here looks exactly like it does in the games. I've never really liked Salamence's Mega. I mean, it's good. It's really good Pokemon. It's just, I never liked the Mega. So, um, yeah. I'm not gonna deal with that. Um, here's Pinsir. Never really used a pincer, but like, actually, I know. In Gen 2, I used a pincer. But besides that, I didn't use a pincer at all. So, bang on me with that Mega. His Mega is really cool. I really do like his Mega. It's just. I've never really used it myself, but it's still a really, really cool Mega, and I really enjoy looking at it. It's very cool to get. Uh, now we have the Homie Sable. You can get him pretty easy in the game, too, if you go to a desert. Bam! You get his Mega. His Mega was very, very cool looking when I first saw it, where he's just, like, he has, like, um, a bunch of, like, stuff on his back. You can't really see it, but he has some stuff on his back, uh, like that right there. And he just is holding up this gigantic emerald that's, like, the size of his body. It's just to protect himself. It, it, it was really funny and really cool at the same time. So, his Mega was definitely really cool. So, yeah. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. Just get, get, give me, like, five more seconds. Uh, I can already see the video size now. 80 gigs. Oh my god, kill me. It's like, thanks for being so many gigs, perhaps. Thanks. Okay, so we got the Homie Sceptile. He's like another one of my favorite Pokemon. Always the best starter Pokemon for Generation 3. Love that. I mean, it's not the best to actually clear the game with, but it's my favorite and I chose them, and I'm not changing, so. So we'll be starting out with these. And speaking of Gen 3, we'll be starting out with actually Swamp. You know, I have a saddle on this one too. Um. Swampert is a very cool um, Pokemon, but this model is okay. I, I kind of wish the eyes were placed differently. That's the only thing I could say bad about the model. The eyes were just a little messed up for me, but he actually had Mega. Oh my god. Definite. Oh my god. So sorry about that, guys. Um. <clears throat> now, I want to say this is my favorite. This has to be a number one favorite Mega, even though I really don't like Mega Swampert. actually in the game, but it's just this model is really cool for it. Um, but, oh, I gotta look at some of the other ones still. I still gotta look at some of the other ones. So, I won't be making my top one yet. I think I've said every single one except for my fifth favorite one. And, yeah, just my fifth and my first. So, um, here's Steelix. I don't understand how Steelix is so much bigger than freaking Onyx. They're supposed to be like the same size. But, you know, bam, his Mega grows even bigger, but his Mega has, like, the best model out of every Mega. I mean, look at this. This is just freaking awesome. It's just Mega Steelix for days, guys. Love that Mega Steelix. Just gotta love it. Can't have that Mega Steelix any other way. It's just a really cool Mega. Now, next up we have Slowbro. Never liked Slowbro's Mega, but, you know, Slowbro was a derby Pokemon. His Mega was, of course, going to be even derpier in water. He's actually a really freaking torpedo, so if you guys ever get find some water, get a Mega Slowbro, definitely ride on him. Really good ride um, in the water. Very, very cool. Now, next up, we have the Homie Sceptile. I love the Homie Sceptile and his Mega Evolution, but this game just butchered his sprite. There's some sprites in this game, or just models in this game, that are just amazing. Some of them are butchered, and I believe that Sceptile was one of those butchered ones. The mecha doesn't really change anything about him though. It adds in that little crease thing that looks kind of disturbing, like he's glitching out this tail. I I don't like it, but like I love the actual Sceptile's mecha. Like in the games, his mecha is amazing, but in this game, it's just no. Um, Scizor, amazing Pokemon model. Love the model for him. They really did a good job on him. Now if you actually have Mega on him, bam, he gets like armor and like Cruncher claws. He's just really cool. He you know what, I, I might say he's actually my favorite Mega out of everyone here, because of his, just his look, is just so cool. Now the next one is Sharpedo, um, this didn't happen until I'm gonna be off Sapphire, bang, um, you know, we got, um, Sharpedo. In Water, he's actually really slow with his Mega, but in regular, he's really fine with it, so yeah, we got the Mega Sharpedo, really, really cool, I really, really like that, um, just gonna return all of you. Okay. And I think I'll actually almost wrap it up. Just two more. Then we'll be wrapping it up here, guys. And then the next episode will be a shorter one. 
but hopefully I'll be able to actually edit it into the video or something. Or make it its own video, I don't know. Um, so, here's the Pokemon Tyranitar. Now, I personally did catch Larvitar and Pupitar, but in all my life that I've played Pokemon, Tyranitar has been in the games. Never actually got a Tyranitar, and I never actually did end up ever using a Mega Tyranitar, so, bam, that's a Mega, um, really cool Mega, I liked the Mega Tyranitar when I saw it, I thought it was really cool, it, it didn't look bad, it looked really cool, it fit him, um, very, very good Pokemon, and very, very good Mega, so I couldn't really complain. Now, next up is Venusaur, this has to be the biggest, the biggest complaint for Megas anyone ever had, literally, the Venusaur already was ugly, but just godly, what do you do? Just godly, you just, you just made it plant freaking more tropical, add a flower to his face that looks like a freaking butt, and then do like that. And it's not even the model. The model looks freaking amazing in this game. It's just a Mega Venusaur by itself by the Pokemon creators. They instantly butchered Venusaur looking already ugly. It made him even uglier, and I don't understand how that's possible. I, I, I just don't. I, I just don't. I don't. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for the video. Um, I, that's all the Megas that are currently in the game are Mega Pokemon. So if any of those Pokemon right there are your Mega, uh, your favorite, and you want to catch them, or at least try to get them and see if they actually have the Mega in the game, probably definitely go uh, give it a shot. And actually, you know what? No. I, I'm, I'm going to stay truthful. I'm going to stay loyal. My favorite Mega in the whole entire freaking game has to be... Um, you know, if you'd actually respond. Oh, you're still sitting. That's why. It has to be Mega Blastoise. I, I mean, there's just no perfect right, but the second best has to be Scizor. But Mega Blastoise has to take the cake for me. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Actually, you know what? Let me um, get Scizor out for this, you know? You gotta, you gotta get out your best too. Where is he? I saw him a little up. Yeah, there he is. Alright. So, hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, these are my top two definite picks for the Mega Sprites. Hope you all enjoyed it. Um, if any of these guys are your favorite Pokemon, tell me in the comment section below. Love to hear it. Please go like and subscribe to the video. It helps me out a bunch when you guys do that, and it means so much to me. Um, I've been trying to grow a community on the channel, hasn't been getting that many subs, so I really, really, really love it when you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps so much, and if you guys want to get notifications for any more PokeCube videos that will be going up on the channel, because there will be more, um, go ahead and hit that little bell that's down there on the channel in the settings, um, so you can get notifications for my channel every single day when I upload. So, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Peace. Alrighty guys, sorry about that. Um, apparently, my recording, like, went all haywire or something. So, um, I think you guys didn't see, see the battle, but I won, and I kicked his butt and everything, and he was, sorry. That's a shiny knight. It looks actually really sick. So, anyway. Already, where's the people who are the lower of the And, um, I'm back. Uh, actually, not back.